Hello Scorpio, this is Leonard with Lingonberry Tea Tarot and I'm doing your tarot reading for the month of April. So, here are some oracle cards that I have out and I'm going to be pulling them in front of you, so changing it up this month. I hope all of you are doing well during this quarantine. And, or not quarantine, but self Social distancing. <laughs> For those of you in countries that are practicing social distancing, I hope you're doing well and that you're going through, through it. All right. Shout out to my extrovert friends who are experiencing social isolation for the first time. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, Scorpio for the month of April. Too many cards, so Seeing things as they are, using your inner to intuition, and try not to be too stubborn about things. And if you need help, ask for help. Because what will happen is burnout manifestations going wrong and your health in decline. But there are ways to combat it. Breathe, reassess things. And Look for healing energy. So right now, there's a lot of masculine energy going around. And sometimes you have to tap into your feminine energies in order to start the healing process. So once you avoid burnout and once you start healing and that you have this balance of male and female energies and you have peace and harmony, that's what the three rays of light talks about. You'll start manifesting money and income and have self-confidence and yeah. And just breathe and reassess and you will get that advancement. And watch out for a stubborn, aggressive person. Don't entertain them if you can help it. And some of you might be wanting a baby, but you're concerning yourself too much about it. Don't think about it. Just let it go with the flow and it'll happen. Okay. But those are your oracle cards. And we will get on to the tarot. And I'm using the Aquarian tarot, the Sun and Moon tarot, and the White Sage tarot. And I've already pre-shuffled the cards, so let's see what pops out. 
the sun. See, don't worry about it. Everything will go all right. Because you have the strength to go through with it. You already made plans, but it doesn't mean that you're worried or you're not worried about it. And you check over those plans again and again, but eventually those plans will work out and you will receive some sort of advancement. Because you get wish fulfillment, you won your battles, you're very passionate about your situation. And yeah, you may want to expand your family potentially. Since we have two, we go from the Page of Rods to the Knight of Rods and yeah, that's pretty much celebration in a sexual manner. <laughs> um, and you're laying down a new foundation for this brand new passionate beginning with the Four of Rods with an Emperor. So if you're going with an Aries or if you're married to an Aries, it will be a recommittal of, um, of your love because you've won all your victories you're done being stuck and you now found equal give and take <clears throat> so why is strength here Because you're willing to give equally and wait on your pentacles to come in. So why is the hermit here? Okay, those ones just fell and these ones turned over. So I'll take these first. All right. You're feeling very financially independent and a King of Cups comes in to woo you. So this could be your husband, this could be your boyfriend, this could be your fiance. And they are feeling a little amorous and frisky. So you have the strength to go through with it and you have some options. <laughs> Just make sure you're limber enough for those options. Because <laughs> it is equal give and take and it's a little lustful, a little greedy. <laughs> and judgment is bringing back all those amorous memories. So why is the Nine of Swords here? <laughs> You're scared of what you say will come across the wrong way with people and cause conflict. So why is the Four of Swords here? <laughs> I don't need half the deck. Uh, okay, first four, three and I will go with that. So you kind of hold on to your feelings, hold on to your words. But your passion lets it get to the best of you and you walk away from hanging on to your feelings and words and open up. So why is the Knight of Pentacles here? You've worked on yourself. 
you've worked on yourself and you are getting what you want. Something that you love very much. And you're willing to protect it. So why is the star card here? You wished for your soulmate. Now your soulmate's coming in. And they are coming in as if Prince of Wands. But those who are in a committed relationship, you're wanting that spark, that feeling again, and it's going to come again. And it's going to be very passionate once more. So why is the Seven of Swords here? You've won your battles, so now you're celebrating. It causes a rebirth because the universe is giving you this new chance in life. So why is the page of rods here? You're very passionate about this new position that you have. That's a lot of cards. Don't need them all. Take those three. But you're holding on to your feelings. You're not really looking at anything. You're not opening up. And it's causing you to feel a disconnect and a little bit of despair from your co-workers or your partner. So why is the Knight of Rods here? But this new beginning opens up. Something that you've been waiting for a while. Uh, any other advice for Scorpio? Definitely a new beginning with the Page of Coins <coughs> or Pentacles. That comes in very quickly. And you commit to it. And you're using your inner tuition to figure things out for yourself for this new beginning. Because all that's waiting is for your pinnacles to come in to a ten of pentacles with a king of pentacles. So there's a lot going for you in your career. It could also translate into your love life. So that is all I got for you Scorpio and if you liked it like comment share and subscribe down below and I will see you again next time. Laters.